the Snowboard Team Challenge Modified Super Pipe brought to you by Toyota. And uh, the snow is dumping down. And as we were saying before the commercial, Jake Burton definitely a huge part of why this is happening. He was always one to spread more of the stoke, less of the contest, even though he had one of the most uh, iconic competitions ever to grace the sport, the US Open, um, in his name, Burton Snowboards. But he, here we are right now in this modified super fight. Current standings are this. <gasps> Team Oakley, way up on top. But we are now into the modified super pipe. This could be the great equalizer, guys. Uh, yeah, honestly, anything could happen here. Um, again, just I can't wait for this battle of the Titans to see how this goes down between Scotty and Danny. You know, I just I can't wait to see how that goes down. So rad to see that little tribute run through the pipe. This is incredible. Look at Danny just greasing that method. Everybody just doing it for the spirit of it. So good to see. True spirit. You know, snowing couldn't be any better. It's dumping, and you know what? It's just like growing up back east, many generations before YouTube, um, and basically having, you know, being there in the beginning of the sport when we still weren't allowed to go up on the hills, and and seeing mythical Jake Burton cruising around at Stratton when he used to have Burton snowboards down in Manchester. It was the craziest thing. He's was has always been bigger than life. I mean, I've known that, known him over the years, and still every time I would see him. It would be the craziest thing because he was such an influence on so many people. He will be missed but not forgotten. And it's events like this that promote team camaraderie and just the good times and the shenanigans of snowboarding. That's what Jake really was all about. Absolutely. He would love this broadcast right now because we're all about shenanigans. Love the shenanigans. <laughs> all about it. You know, because some of the more serious events of this contest, maybe the more individual events, these riders are, you know, probably stressing that a little bit. But it's always fun to get these ones out of the way and kind of view these because you know that the riders are out there having a good time and it's a friendly competition with mm -hmm. each other. Well, until it isn't. <laughs> Fair. <That's> true. <laughs> this is true. Things are really friendly right now, but we're only in uh, number two of the three portions of the competition. So, so people who I am excited to see, I'm going to tell you right now, I want to see this matchup between Scotty James and Danny Davis. That's really what I'm here for right now. Yeah, I'm also, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie, Lilani Attel, uh, a German rider who I'm not super familiar with. Women's Pipe is in a, a very interesting place right now. Um, I think that there's a, a big opportunity for women to show up and mm -hmm. kind of prove themselves in a way that we haven't seen before. So, you know, maybe this is maybe this is her. I, I even know Jamie Anderson was a was an alternate for this, so that wow. would have been cool to see Jamie getting in the pipe. But yeah, I think um, I'm I'm really excited about the hip features. You know, the ability to have a hip into the pipe. It's going to mix things up. Yeah. Hopefully we see more than double cripplers, though. I yes. hope so, too. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go down to the bottom of the pipe with DC, who's got uh, some, some coming pertinent information for us. What do you got, DC? All right, guys. Hanging out down here with Red Gerard as uh, my FB just goes out, so I'm flying deaf. But, yo, Red, good work up there in uh, the pr first port first portion here of the team challenge how to go up there uh, on the slope style rails for you yeah it was pretty fun for sure when we first went up there we were hoping to hit the jumps but with all the new snow we had to switch over to the slope style rails and it was pretty pretty crazy for sure i was not expecting to do rails and it was, it was really fun to do honestly and anna was your teammate up there and uh did you guys approach any uh that contest with any game plan at all I think we went into it with actually no game plan, and I'd say Anna came out on top on my side, and I came out way lower than her. It was not great, but I tried. I thought you looked very stylish. All right, so you got Jayu Lu and Danny Davis here in the modified pipe. What two better pipe riders to represent and hold it down for Team Burton than those two? I know, I know. I got got the chance to watch a little bit of practice, and I'm on. I'm just really excited to watch it. Jayu and Danny both insanely styly riders, and I'm really excited to see their lines. And then holding it down, the last portion of the team challenge over on Street Style, you got Maria and your boy Wink. And uh, what do you think of the chances of those two performing over there? Two insane riders right there. Two insane riders. Maria's birthday is today. Luke is riding good too, so it's going to be really exciting to watch. Along with all the other teams, I mean, it's going to be a crazy final finale or whatever. Awesome. Well, Red, thanks for uh, the time and catching up, man, and uh, great work up at the top. Your job is done, and now you just got to cheer the team on. Good luck to Team Burton. Yes, sir. You. Yeah, boys. 
All right, thanks, DC. So, uh, Red Gerard with those big red pom-poms now for the rest of this competition where he will be cheering on his teammates to see what will happen. But I'll tell you right now, it ain't going to be easy to overtake Team Oakley's big push after the initial opening of the slope style portion of this team challenge. But we're doing the Snowboard Team Challenge Modified Super Pipe presented by Toyota. Stan. Yes. Have you ever ridden a modified Super Pipe? Well, you know what? I can't say that I have. Um, I like to keep my half pipe walls um, under 18 feet, personally. Right. So sure. um, I haven't gotten out there yet. We did see briefly on top of the course Mark Clavin. Mm. Um, and will he get inspired to drop in? Again, that's our online editor. We hope so. He's the everyman bar yes. setting. Yes. Right. We so, send him down. Can you make this jump? We send Mark Clavin in to see if any man could clear the jump. That's exactly right. But, you know, we've got the Volcom team dropping first. Valentino coming from down under. You know, so maybe like uh, a little bit of a way to rival that Scotty James energy that he's going to be bringing. Maybe he's got some sort of uh, tip that we don't know about, you know. Honestly, I wouldn't discount Valentino because he is uh, he is kind of insane. He's explosive. He uh, is made of rubber because he's only 15 years old, mm -hmm. and he just boosts. Um, yeah, he's been coming to the launch for years, the Snowboarder Mag event, and uh, since he was 11, and he always just goes super, super big with really good style. So he's a rookie, but he's a rookie to watch. Is he 15 or 14? Oh, is he 14 maybe? Um, I'm yeah. just looking at him to potentially harvest his stem cells. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so that is Team Volcom. Look, he's already going through he's already the practicing. motions. He's like, that's one, two, three, four, five. How many you got there? Oh, wow. Oh, now you're going the yeah. other way. Watch your legs, Valentino. Dodd Richards is coming for them. That's right. If you want to see something really great, you can go back in the old Snowboarder Vimeo archives and uh, see the Scorpion herd around the world from 2011. Uh, Bear Mountain with Valentino came off a massive step over right to Scorp, got up and rode away. Yep. It is painful looking. Not a problem, but undoubtedly one of the things that was uh, able to propel him here today, that ability to get back up, keep going, something we're definitely going to see. we got the Volcom team captain up there again, Lenny Mazzotti, one of Bear Mountain's favorites, a hometown hero. So good to see him up here. Can only imagine the kind of inspiration he's inspiring in those riders right now. The ultimate hype man. Hype men are good. They keep, they keep the spirits high. Not that you really would need it today for this challenge. I mean, it's snowing. Everyone's kind of having a good time. I think, again, this is the event that the riders have the biggest smile on their face for. They're down at the bottom. They're kind of cheering each other on, but also playfully kind of, you know, talking back to each other. And it's and kind of the most rideable, too, because you just saw with, with that poach session um, inspired by Jake Burton that the people were getting out of the pipe. It wasn't like the speed yeah. was really a challenge like it would be in the slope style. Absolutely. I bet uh, we We've got a bunch of people maintaining this course, keeping it as good as possible for our Volcom team drop to begin here at the Modified Super Pipe presented by Toyota. Mare, take us through this run. So Leilani's going to drop first. She's uh, 18 and from Germany. She's a newcomer to the Volcom team from across the Atlantic. And uh, I've, I actually haven't seen her really ride that much yet, but I've heard really great things. Stan, did you see her ride uh, in practice? Just met her. <laughs> in the riders lounge what a nice person <laughs> don't know anything about what she's going to bring here today but like i said boy am i excited Ooh. to see Ooh, lean lean air air. over the channel i like to see that it's a good start proper a little alley -oop. Oh, whoa. oh front oop over the hip too kind of warming up now we're into the traditional part of the modified super pipe right oh, this yeah. is the less modified section if you were a little method Another alley-oop. I like that top section, though. Lean just, air to alley-oop front center. That lean air was really remarkable. She's probably just feeling like she needed to get one down, get a feel for this thing, get Volcom on the board, and then you know, maybe she can come back and see what she needs to do. Yeah, building the house out here. Yes, That's exactly. What That's right. Confidence building. I believe this is, too, her first time in like a big competition like this, so that's got to be kind of intimidating, so she held it together. Yes. Is it true that that Mountain Dew has stained the pipe? Is that Mountain Dew? That yes. is exactly okay. correct. All of the paint guns out there are filled with Mountain Dew. Mountain That's Dew Zero, I think, actually, the new yes. one. Mm. That's correct. Yeah. Is it edible? Can I eat that later? You can. Okay. So here we go. The score for run number one is 75 flat. Not bad. Not bad. Enjoy that first position. I always am envious of the rider who gets to drop first. 
you know, get to sit in that first place. Valentino, ready to drop. Valentino, of course, I think uh, usually joined by his father, a very yes, fun Rick. character. Yep, I'm sure he's here today. On the sidelines, train V on. Here we go. Straight away, crippling it over the channel. Almost thought he was going back for the toe side wall. Oh, wow. Straight into a spindy a hit oh, over the hip. Valentino values 900 into it. Not able to put 900 down, but... Oh, there's the Maybe he can hold nine. on to it here. Switch back seven straight into a back nine. He's getting some work done here. Ops out of the last. Of the this so two runs, best of two. You can throw that one away, Valentino. Todd, do you think we're going to be seeing hand plants here today? Do you think uh, we're going to mostly be seeing above the above the lip tricks? Well, it just depends. You know, it depends on who you get in the pipe. Are you trying to get out there and maybe get another stand plant in there again? Because the people would love that. We need you here in the booth, Stan. You can't just <laughs> run off mid comp. Look at the switch back, Sev. Very nice. That trick is very difficult. Yeah, obviously that fall in the 900, not ideal for setting yourself up into this more traditional pipe section, but all things considered, I actually think Valentino held it together pretty well. I'm trying to figure out what's up with Australians and these switch backside tricks being so easy. Well, isn't it something about how, you know, when you flush the toilet, oh, the water yes, goes backwards? Yes. I mean, it's got to play into it, really. A great point yeah. there. Everything is switch backside in Australia. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. God, waiting the score. Maybe, you know, this is something he... Uh, might get used to. Haruna Matsumoto coming up for Team Oakley. The team in the driver's seat right now. So Haruna just coming off, I believe, a third place finish at X Games Aspen um, just like a week and a half ago. So coming into Dutor with a little medal, a proper, proper era of the transfer. There we go, coming into this hip section. Ooh, just kind of squeaking it over. Quick pow turn before dropping into the traditional pipe section here. It up for the front side 540, Five. getting a stale grab in it. She's going to get one more in. There's still some room. There's still some meat on the bone. There we go, front seven. A couple of fives and a seven. Mm. Solid showing in the non-modified section of the modified pipe presented by Toyota. Two runs, best two. You can build on that, something to build on, no falls there. I wonder if there's more pressure being in the first place position. Oh, for sure. Like yeah. You have to come in, keep that team up in there. Well, would you want to go? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just thinking, would you want to go down and have to tell Jamie and Stale that you are now not in first because of your run? Seems very intimidating. I would not want to tell Jamie and Stale that at all. Believe me, <laughs> I would not. Only good, no, only good news for those two. Yes. That's right. the only thing I'm interested in telling them. <laughs> Front side 720 to end off that run. She did make it from top to bottom. There weren't any falls. Jamie Anderson, 56.33. So some room for improvement. No, no pressure. This is going to be, though, like we said, we're starting to see the game open up a little bit. Maybe another brand able to, uh, you know, pull them out, pull, pull Oakley out of first. Don't worry, we brought a sandbag for this. <laughs> Scotty James, two years of competition, not a loss yet. He's got his uh, game day mitts on, his boxing roux. Yes. I think it would be more dramatic if he had someone else put them on for him. Yeah. Mm. You know? Oh. oh wow. Okay. Oh. Back roads. Yep. Do I saw him, like, just do that in practice, like, first try. All right. Whoa. Switch Ooh, was that frontside sev or switch back? Switch back set. Switch back. With all the snow flying around, I honestly was just like... It's challenging to see. It's really coming down now. Kind of in, yeah, into a front 10 there and then... Check, please. Wow. wow. Okay, so Scotty James obviously has been practicing in this modified pipe. There was a question. Look at these guys. They must all be from Team Oakley. Oh, high five <laughs> around up there. I just, I really want to see the transition between the... Was that a switch... Uh, wait a second, hold on. Let me let me go back to my Scotty James of where the yeah, that was a switch uh Ali Rodeo. Wow. Into Yeah, let's check it out. This is switch dance. Switch Ali oh, yeah. Rodeo. Okay. Then into a front seven. See how hard my job is, guys. Yeah. When I'm it doing this, I don't know what's happening. I'm at the mercy of cameramen. It's a lot of math. 
also math angles challenging. I was never good at any of this stuff in school and you know it like I said it just kind of it's once it gets over that part it's hard to see what's going on he's all in black snow's fine so we got some 900 some switch maneuvers Scotty James even throws a 1080 in yeah. for good measure. He had to get the 1080 in there. It's not a Scotty James first run if he's not throwing a 10 out. <laughs> yeah, I'll, hey, listen, I'll tell you what. That was a lukewarm run from Scotty James, and still, it's going to have him in the lead right now, easily. Yep. Can't wait to see this score. 88 flat. 88. And he moves right into first. Easily done, Scotty James. Team Oakley in the lead. Team Volcom in second place. Jamie Anderson kind of congratulating Scotty down there. So a lot of crystal work being done before that run. <laughs> you know, I feel like Jamie's kind of the unofficial uh, team captain. You know, to yeah. watch, making sure everyone's like doing their thing. Sure That's true. Got the essential oils going. All right, exactly. right into Team Burton. Lu Jiayu, Jai Rips. She's done so well, and she's kind of broken away from the Chinese national team, too, and kind of like discovered snowboarding on her own, kind of growing into her own style as well, which is really fun to see. Almost like a quick 50 on the deck there. Wow. Jai looking good. Wow. Hawk and flip. Wow. She's going to be proud of that run. I think that that was, uh, that was a nice run for the Burton team. A lot of support down there at the bottom, as we can see. Whole Burton squad. I even see a Neil Shack down there. Wow. wow. Here we go. Okay, people. Back to the top. The moment we've all been waiting for. The person synonymous with modified superpipe is up next. But right here, Jai coming in, clearing all the jumps. Solid from top to bottom. God, it is really snowing out hard right now. Now you got to respect these riders. I bet they're kind of taking pow laps and then showing up at the course. They're probably having a great day. But respect getting out here in the pipe, putting up with these conditions, having fun. There's a hawk and flip to end things off. That was beautiful. Great run. Todd, I've heard that uh, hawk and flips when you're goofy just kind of don't work out. Any thoughts on that? What are you talking about? Uh, I've just heard <laughs> that goofy riders have a harder time with hawk and flips. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I've never seen Pat Bridges do a hawk and flip, so it kind of makes sense. Okay. This is a Pat, this is some kind of weird Pat Bridges analogy. <laughs> All right, so 80.33 from Jai as we move up here to Danny Davis. Peace Park is his event, and there's a Peace Park, Danny Davis Peace Park, right over there, right over his shoulder. That is so fun. And Danny Davis coming in here, run number one. Like a uh, front yeah, three there. Switch as well. Oh, oh hello. Wow. wow. Cap Niner. <laughs> that was great. Wow. Oh, my oh. God. Okay, Danny. Oh, hey, Scotty, he's been put on notice. Big oh, McTwist. There yeah. it is. That's what we like to see. I really think, I think that, I think we can have a shot at the title here. Okay. Danny wow. Davis coming correct. You love wow. to see that. And the crowd is psyched. There is a reason that Danny Davis's name is so closely associated with the modified super pipe and that run, all the evidence you need. How was that? Front side three, coming in a little tame, and then just lets it rip with a 900, straight into a fury of back-to-back -back sensation in the half pipe. Look at this right here. I was a little worried. I thought he was coming in a little too pedestrian into the first hit. I was blown away by that 900, I gotta say. Yeah. Did that not was see crazy. that coming. No. Full, almost a full clutch the entire rotation into a bit of a wheelie. And then straight up into the more traditional part of the modified super pipe. Look at that. That's big. That's very big. Big frontside five straight into this. Big McTwist. Grabs mute. Pulls it back. Still not a Japaner. <laughs> Was waiting for that one. <laughs> Lands it perfectly. Danny Davis, that's how you do it. I'm curious, where is this going to sit versus Scotty? Come on, thoughts. I got to say, if it was up to me and I was in the judging booth, to me, that one had you know, no 1080 in there, but still a little bit better so, of a run. So I was going to guess 90. I know it just posted, mm. but I was going to guess that. I'm, I'm, I'm just claiming that. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Well, we haven't dropped the score yet. You're just... Don't oh, get ahead of things. I'm so here. sorry. This is, you're blowing the illusion. <laughs> I 
I'm guessing that. That's okay. what I'm still guessing. Danny Davis oh, wow. with a 90 doing some work for Burton Snowboards right there. That is how you get it done. Am I building drama? Yes. Yes. You are. So, Amazing prediction on Mary's part sorry, there was, with an exact score. Yeah, I really uh, was guessing that because in this kind of situation, a two-point lead can be a big lead. And they were close runs, but Danny's was just turned the heat up a little bit more. Uh, way to patch that one up, Mary. All right, so Danny Davis jumps into the first. We re-rack it back to the top here. Here we go again. Two runs, best of two. Remember, this is the second, third of this team challenge. We're gonna move over to the rails. This is the Snowboard Team Challenge Modified Super Pipe presented by Toyota. Did I get that in? That's all in, I got that all in. You got that in. Very fluid. We have Lenny Mazzotti again, the ultimate team captain, just bringing the stoke to the Volcom squad. Leilani Attell, representing for Germany, Team Volcom. Laid down a nice kind of casual run for her first. Will we see her step it up? I think we will. This was always in competition, like the like the cameras on you. You're up there. You just want like a little me time. Yeah. <laughs> cameras all up in your grill. Not Some, fun. Sometimes they catch you talking to yourself. Maybe <laughs> singing. I don't know. <laughs> Pre-camera pressure before. Here we go. I like the visibility may be a little bit better on this run. A little visualization of what's going down. I saw maybe a big frontside toss right there. Here we go into the channel. Similar to run Back number one. Back into that lean air. I like that oop. Okay, yeah. That's a, that's a textbook alley oop right there. Time. Entering into the traditional the section of the pipe. Down the bottom, there it is. The front front set, big one. Very clean. A lot of travel. Oh! Okay. Putting some sass on it. Yes. That was cool. That's respect. When you go to, oh, Lenny Mazzotti, the <laughs> team captain, feeling himself after that run, okay? He's stomping around. I think he's feeling good about that run. That's a nice second run for Volcom to put down in the modified super pipe. Presented by Toyota. Very clean, top to bottom. The alley-oop. I just want to go and do that. That looks so fun. Tell me about it. And then this, the setup. Nice front side seven. Some drift. Into popping out. Watch the tweak on this last twist. Oh, Boom! That was That's great. what we are here for. I like that. We it's not, not a lot of rotation, but sometimes less is more. Oh. It's so great to see that kind of style coming out in women's pipe, a modified pipe, or the traditional side. It just really lets the rider kind of show a little more of their, their stee. That switch, that switch 270 into a method has got to be one of my favorites so far. Got to be one of my favorites. 77 for run number two, so ups the ante. All right, happy with that. Got Haley Langland in the background showing her support. Also, of course, Team Volcom. Val with a quick chest bump, dropping in. Oh boy. Big money, straight up and over. Crippler first hit over the channel. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Up over. So coming in switch Oop, back back here to the pipe. Ooh, Ooh, switch out. coming in with heat. Real fast. Yes. Yes. Switch Val. back nine. For Valentino. Yes, Val. Oh. Oh. Jet ski on that one on the way out. Just putting that hand down. Good combo though. Yeah. Front nine, switch back nine. I think the biggest takeaway from his round is that you want to watch V in the coming seasons. I mean, he he is bringing it. He's very young and he's only going to get better. And he's already riding like this. Definitely somebody to watch out for. Love that spin off the toes. Almost yeah, that sticking his tail right in on the could have gotten clamped right there. This is sick though. Switch back nines. That was a pretty, pretty big one for how much snow was falling out there too. Again, the Australians with the switch backside. Kind of their M.O. I'm kind of back in this whole toilet theory. Yeah. <laughs> the only theory we've got. I think it's probably pretty accurate. And then tries to squeak a 10 in. It, you know, he rode away from it. Not the cleanest. Team Volcom representing strong out here. People, oh, I think that's uh, Benny Meyer. Oh, it is. Uh, Volcom Street. 60.66, so bumping up his score just a wee bit. Volcom 
Going to be looking for some more in the street section, perhaps. Yes, and they do have a Hammer Street duo, Benny Milam and Hannah Peterson, both out of Trollhagen. Secret weapons. Yes. I actually wouldn't even say Benny Milam is a secret, but uh, he's going to be a vital asset to their team. Haruna Matsumoto coming in right now. Current rank second in this portion of the team challenge. 56.33 with some room to improve. Yes. Whenever you're ready. You know, I really enjoyed her first run. It was uh, very impressive. Todd, would you say that the early hand dug half pipes were almost like modified super pipes? Yes, because every resort we went to, you never knew if there was going to be a <laughs> dirt obstacle, perhaps a rock obstacle. A lot of the times, the, the pipes that we had back then, they were more like the letter L. <laughs> Ooh, mm. not kind of sticking the landing on that one, unfortunately, but gaining speed as she heads into the traditional portion of the pipe. Kind of a wild yeah, oop, but run, but getting it back to together again here. So no matter what Scotty does, he's going to the Back five, front steps. So bottom portion, strong upper portion. Mm, left a little bit on the table. Not going to be maybe her ideal run. Going to have to see where this puts them. Of course, Burton probably starting to feel pretty excited. Yes. Yeah, but you know what, though? Oakley had such a commanding lead, and Burton was in third place. So it's going to be a battle over in the rail section. Yeah. Well, Burton has a stacked rail team, too. Maria Thompson, she is ridiculously technical. And Luke Winkleman, I mean, honestly, he can kind of do anything when it comes to jibbing. He's yeah, so flawless. The wink is strong. <laughs> <laughs> so this sets us up now for a situation where Scotty James, does he bring out the heavy moves? He's got switchback 10s. He's got back 12s. Can he do them in a clutch situation like this where Scotty, if he brought a 96 to the table right now, yep. that would do great things for Oakley and would kind of make up for anything they've left on the table. Wow, Here's, okay. Here we got the standings right now. Mind you, this is just in modified super pipe. Right. Burton is on top. Scotty James. And this tall drink of water from down under is about to take to this pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Not a situation in which a victory lap is warranted. Now, no high-fiving on the deck there, Scotty. <laughs> Let's bring it. Things have gotten much more serious now. Ooh, okay, switch oop road. Starting it again. Here we go. Maybe it means he's... Oh, oh Lord. Okay. Ooh. Front nine Front coming nine. in with a little sketchy. Here we go. What's he got? This better be something good. Talking you up all day. <laughs> is this a 14? No, he'll go for the switch air to fakie. Ooh, really left the door open there, yeah, Scotty. <laughs> thought he might hit that 14 in the last section of the pipe. Regardless of if there was any room left to yeah. do it, we were really expecting it. I do like his first two hits were great. Yeah, that's going in switch into this course. I really, that's a respectable move. Dropping in switch. And honestly, sometimes I, I would recommend you drop in regular and right at the last minute you turn switch. Because oh, how like else that. are you going to let the crowd know? Yeah, it's got to be switch enough. If it's not switch enough, no one can tell. Yeah, you can never be to switch. Yeah. What? <laughs> All right. Straight up in front nine. With a little. Scotty. First run was better. I mean, this is like a run that Scotty does with a broken leg. Basically. That's true. His warm-up runs are things people only dream about. So obviously off his game on run number two. Oakley still looking good though. Scotty put down a really good performance in run number one. Is it going to be enough, Todd? I don't know. You're going to have to do math to figure it out. Oh, that's dangerous. I mean, we're coming into the rail section. They have Rani Rani Congas. Oh, okay. I mean... Check, please. Yep. Yeah. The Norwegian wonder kid who just seems to defy the laws of physics with the snowboarding. Even though he's from Finland. Oh, Finland? Oh my god, why did I think that? Yeah, I don't know I'm sorry, about Rennie. that. Right, right I've been, I'm so sorry about that. I meant Finland. Totally different countries. All right, so Team Burton right now in the lead. Do they go ahead? Well, actually, you know, all you need to do is win this and you get that 100 points. Yes. It has nothing to do with those scores right there. So this is a technically a glory run. For Team Burton, but and I what are the uh, what are the breakdown of the points? You win, you get a hundred, hundred eighty, and then 70, another 75? portion of points. I think it's seventy-five. If these guys roll down the 
side of the pipe and high-five people, I'm going to be very angry. Oh, don't even <laughs> get me started. It's a trend started. that needs to go away in competitive <laughs> snowboarding. I couldn't agree with you more, Todd. I like that. I like the poke. You know, quick poke 180. Quick poke quo. <laughs> Drops it, switch, just <laughs> wow. makes it back up. Switch backside 540. Switch back five. Wow. Yeah, he's a hawk and flip around. Hawk and flip with zero speed. Yeah. <laughs> Head very close to the deck on that hawk and flip. Yeah. I mean, props are getting that around in the conditions right now with the snow coming down. It's got to be slowing it down a little bit, I would assume. Danny Davis up at the top with his team manager. Can only imagine what they're talking about. Sparky McMorris down there giving people some high fives. Look at that. Oh. Shows, shows the judges you're in control in the air. You can jam your legs out, put a little sauce on your tricks, and then the hawk and flip. And flip. But wow. I, maybe under the lip. A little bit under the lip. Technically more difficult to do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Much more dangerous this way. So she makes it around on that one. Team Burton, this was a run for glory as they are already winning this portion. So it goes back up to the top. I want to see Danny Davis give this his all. I have no doubt in my mind that that is something he is going to do, Todd. Improvement on run number two in 80.33, so just distancing the lead. They didn't need it, though. Danny Davis, what do we got here? <laughs> really, uh, Ber Berlin kind of making a statement with this purple, i got to say. Yeah, it kind of looks like an Easter egg. Yeah. Here we go. Danny Davis. All right. Big front three. What's Ooh. it going to be this time? All right. Will he hit us with a nine, or will he go? Wow, even better 900. Yes. Now where's he going? This is where we might. Oh, method. little method into the pipe. A little extra hit. Oh, oh wow. Well. Alley up in the air. There's that. Let, let's lose his track. The board was really hot. Boat was hot. He had to get oh, his head off. there's the front see, side that's invert. That's great. That's what we wanted to see. Oh, I nice. was gonna be a little upset if we went all the way through modified modified pipe and never saw one hand plant. So Danny Davis, final hit, quick front side invert. Four, four, four uh, people. Well, Stan, technically that was a Miller flip. Okay. Daryl Miller invented that a long time ago. It's a front side invert with an extra 180. So you come in. Oh, that's the Norwegian version as well as Stan was mentioning. Oh, okay. You that's are right. so right, Todd. Might have been. What a better person to correct me on calling a trick well, wrong I don't than Todd Richards. Co correct you here, but that was clearly a Miller flip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that Danny had a little power squat on that 900. But slow-mo reveals all. Look at that India right there, alley-oop style. Look at this. That board, hot. Get your hand off that. Yeah. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Wax Tech's doing something a little special there. Danny couldn't hold on. hi -ya! Get your hand off that thing. <laughs> so technically, that, that. Look at this right here, over the channel. That's obviously our more modified section over the channel here into this kind of hip feature onto a classical landing that's going to launch you right into this traditional. Now, this is foreshadowing for what we'll see for the actual modified Superpipe competition coming up later on this weekend. Just an extra warm-up for Danny Davis. Yes. Do you think uh, we're going to see similar runs, or do you think he's uh, kind of saving it for the for the big show? I think he may be saving it for the big show. But Danny Davis and Team Burton walking away with the win from the Snowboard Team Challenge Modified Superpipe. DC is at the bottom of the pipe. He's going to talk to Danny Davis any second now. Busy man, that Danny Davis. Got a pretty strong team, you know. Uh, but each team's pretty strong, you know. Scotty James, always competitor. Good to see Val in there. I love Val. I've known him since he was. 12 or 8 years old or whatever. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're just having fun. Of course, he's turning 21. Getting more used to it. It's a battle. Dude. It's no. tough. So, yeah, it's good to warm up for Sunday. Now you're pulling double duties out here today, team captain as well as competing. Oh, am I? I, I thought that was the word. I thought <laughs> sounds great, team captain. We're heading over to slope. Let's go catch it. Or I mean, sorry, rail jam, right? Yeah, and you got Wink and Maria, whose birthday it is. It's Maria's birthday? 
That's what I was told as well. And the judges should give her a little birthday gift, if you know what I mean, boys. Don't feel feel bad well, to give her five extra points. I don't know. Call me a chiropractor because I'm feeling you. Great work, Danny Davis. Always a pleasure. Much love and respect. Thank you, DC. Well, there that you is, have that's it. a worse captain. I'm the captain. I'm the captain now. <laughs> Danny Davis didn't even know he was the captain. Or that it was Maria's birthday. It'd be a sinking ship after section number two, Burton, taking this one out. Oakley in second, Volcom in third. So we're, it's all going to be on the line over here in the rail section. The overall standings look like this. Oakley is still on top with a 10-point differentiation between wow. first and second. So, they've got Rennie Renikongas, the fired-up Finn over there to represent. Oh, man, it's going to be it's gonna be a battle. You know, I got to imagine right now, Benny has got a lot of pressure on his shoulders. Team Volcom, Rail Jam, kind of the last, you know, moment that, th that he can bring that Volcom team to where it needs to be. Uh, yeah, it's anyone's game right now heading into the rail jam. You can see them uh, prepping the course. It's uh, a lot of options yep. for the the jibbers to to really show what they got and uh, potentially bump anyone into first at this point. All right, as we see right there, that's Red's backyard, a feature from the Woodward Park here. As we move up and check out what went down from Team Burton, how did they do it? Well, it wasn't just our commentating that propelled them through that in a fantastic way. It was all about. Jai and Danny throwing it down, using this pipe the way it should be used. Which is a modified. That's right, right a modified. <laughs> Here's Scotty James in a, uh, a showing that was uncharacteristic. Yeah. This may be the first time he hasn't won <laughs> something actually, in two years. That's a great point. Can we touch in with him, see how he's feeling about yeah. this? I, I don't think he's going to count it. As you a, don't think you would count that? I don't think he's going to count this as a loss against him. I have a feeling. Uh, well, I wouldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Danny Davis leading Team Burton. He is the captain. We're going to switch over to skis now. And then a little bit later on, we are going to head over to the rail section to see if Oakley can hold on to their lead. Stick around. You're watching the Dew Tour from Copper Mountain.
they close. Oh. Welcome back to Dew Tour Copper, everyone. A new home for the Dew Tour here in 2020. As you can see by that shot right there, the snow continues to fall out here. It's thrown us a little bit of a curveball in the schedule, but hey, we're not going to let that hamper the party. We're going to keep on rolling and plugging along with this back here for the second part of three here in the Ski Team Challenge. Welcome, everybody. Jimmy Coleman here in the booth. I got Tom Wallace down here to the far left, and we've got a special guest. Max Moffitt joins us in the booth out here. First time doing the TV thing, Max? Yeah, this is uh, nerve-wracking. Okay, don't get nervous, but you're on that camera right now, and you're going to have people talking in your ear, but you're going to help us talk through uh, some of this uh, modified super pipe presented by Toyota. So it's not your traditional pipe, guys. We've got some new elements in the mix here. Let's talk about that a little bit. I feel like we got a slope style feature in there. I mean, that that quarter pipe takeoff to normal landing, you guys have been doing a lot of that in slope style. Like, what do you expect to see in the modified super pipe event? Yeah, a lot of like the quarter pipe to landing um, is kind of popping up in the slope style over, and they're actually super fun. Like, kind of get used to a little transition, and yeah, I'm down with it. Well, this is a team challenge, so taking a look at how we stand after what we saw on the slope style section of things. It's Team Faction in the lead right now, followed by Team Atomic and then Vocal. So your team uh, gets the top honors in each section. You get 100 points for your team. But that was on slope style. It's a whole different ball of wax here in the modified Super Pipe presented by Toyota. Grace Henderson and Alex Ferreira representing Team Vocal out here. Then you've got Kelly Sildaru and Auntie Olila representing the Faction crew. And then Sabrina Kekmakli and Nico Porteous doing it for Team Atomic out here. That is actually a look at the, uh, that was the slow style, style start list right there. So Oddly little. enough, though, we have Grace Henderson starting it off again. I believe she's competing in all three aspects she's of She's running team the event. trifecta. She's the Iron Woman out here this weekend. She is going to run in all three sections uh, of this team challenge out here. So if you're just joining us, you missed the first part. Basically, you've got a male and a female competitor here. Uh, in the team challenge this year, in the year past, years past, it was just uh, you know different athletes were picked for the different sections. This year, it's a male and a female competitor going. There you go. So there Grace Henderson, go. Alex Ferreira for Team Vocal, Kelly Sildaru, Auntie Olila there for Faction, and then Sabrina Kekmakli and Nico Porteous rounding out the order. Fellas, you got your standouts, your big picks here for this section. I mean, something I love so much is with the modified super pipe and with the team challenge, we get to see somebody like Anti Olila. He is not necessarily a competition guy these days, more into the film aspect, urban, all that kind of stuff. And he's out here doing the super pipe. So it's just fun with the team event. We get like so many additional athletes that you might not see at a competition circuit otherwise. Yeah, exactly. Like you wouldn't see Anti at a normal half pipe competition or slope style. So it's sick to see him out here. I think he's going to excel at this event, too. I mean, look at this thing. Yeah, there's definitely nothing normal about this compared <laughs> to what we've seen uh, on the pipe in due tours past. You see the transitions with the 10-foot gap right there, 22-foot transition with over a 25-foot gap. And then the big story today, though, with this snow, it's uh, it's causing some visibility issues. But speed has also uh, been a bit of a factor out here today. But here we go. We started off with Team Vocal. This is Grace Henderson making her second appearance out here in the Ski Team Challenge. So that first feature is really fun. It's like a quarter pipe, smaller quarter pipe to a normal landing. And there's that one that we see a lot.